I've been playing with the centre of gravity. This spar line here, or this panel line here, that's probably as far back as I can go. That's about 45, and just in front of this panel dot here, that's about 40. So I've got everything crammed in there at the moment, and I'm positioning my fingers where that red, red dot is, but on the panel line, the same on this side, and this is how it balances. It's tail heavy. So I thought I'd like to show you the solution I've come up with, and I'll show it to you once I've installed it all, but basically... The speed controller is going to go flat in the well there. There'll be a bit of Velcro on the front here, so these 1,000 3-cell milliamps can go in and get Velcro down. I'm using an AR620, but only because it fits very nicely once I've done some foam hacking into this bay on the canopy. So I will put that in like that and I'm going to hot glue it in place. That will then allow me to just pack all those down. This will go on and then we'll get the COG right. Only problem is I am going to have to add weight. As of yet I haven't determined how much. Two hours later. It's taken me two hours to work out the positioning of the electronics and get in the centre of gravity where it needs to be. I decided that the centre of gravity should be between 40 millimetres from the leading edge, which is exactly what they're saying here, to about 42, 43. So I gave myself that range to play with. The solution that I've come up with, which isn't pretty, let me show you inside the canopy first. I haven't done any binding or anything yet, that will follow. And if I take this off... So this is my solution inside there. What do we have? We have a 1000 milliampere hour battery, 3S. Speed controller tucked away down there. Receiver up here. Yes, it's quite far behind the centre of gravity. It was the easiest and most convenient place to put it, having cut a ridge of foam out from the centre of that cutout. That will now allow me to easily remove the battery. To get the centre of gravity right, I played around with putting the receiver at the front, having the speed controller tucked around at the front, even putting weight to the end of the battery. The problem with that is I needed more weight here on the end of the battery than I would have done if I'd just put weight on the nose. 40 grams of weight on the end of the battery, I could still just about get it in. I would have had to have cut out some of this foam the battery would have stuck out a bit further but I still needed a lot of weight in the nose so the total weight was more than if I just put it on the nose which I've done so normal batteries there were quite a few of them I haven't put the velcro in there yet they'll go in and push down on the velcro connector there for the battery so that just all connects up Then this just slots in there and the magnet holds it in place and that's great that works for me center of gravity wise let me show you what we got center of gravity wise there it is slightly slightly nose heavy which is what you want on a warbird how do I accomplish that it's horrendous <laughs> I had to stick 770 grams of weight to the nose. 
that's 2.5 ounces but the result is as far as I'm concerned a perfect CFG position at 40 millimeters that's how it balances out slightly nose heavy from the internet research I've done on this plane the biggest problem is not getting the CFG right the manual is correct it has to be at 40 you've got a couple of millimeters to play with up to 5 so I've got it at about 41 slightly nose heavy the other problem with this aircraft the prop is extremely brittle and the slightest knock it will just snap off the solution which has been recommended by several discussion groups on the internet is to change the prop for a master air screw 7x4 3 blade it does put a little more amperage draw on the speed controller but with that weight the wing loading is going to be higher therefore it's going to have to come in faster airspeed needs to be kept up to keep the lift but the CG is right on it the issue is that this fuselage is heavy at the back here I've given up worrying about weight on these little warbirds especially the weight you have to add in order to obtain the CMG I mean that's just horrendous but the forums say you have to add a lot of weight now some people cut this out and drop the weight in I love it though the build's fantastic the quality of the foam is fantastic just to show you that CMG again which is all ready at the moment there Perfect CMG. The only trouble is, I've had to put a ton of weight on the nose. <laughs> so we shall see. We shall see. Oh, I've got to bind it and everything, so let me get on and do that. So all I've got to do now is connect the battery to the speed controller. You notice I've got the prop off and I've got throttle cut when I go on. Okay, I'm going to push that. There we are. Let's walk away. Binds complete. I can disconnect. It's done. Switch that off. Now I can do all the nice bits, connecting everything up as far as surfaces are concerned. Then we'll come back and check it all out. Soon after. Everything's connected up now. Let's see what we get. Let's show it this way. Okay, so that's right aileron. You can see it's dropping down. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to our ailerons, reverse it. Okay, right aileron, left aileron, huge travel, far too much. That's up elevator, it's down elevator. Got to reverse that as well. Up elevator, down elevator, up elevator, down elevator. Right aileron, left aileron. Right rudder, that seems okay, left rudder. Strange, the rudder seems fine, it's got very little movement. The ailerons I have to reverse and they've got far too much movement. And the elevator, I don't know, it looks okay. Alright, there we go. So there it is, a completed 
FMS 800mm A6M30. This part of the video had been tacked on at the last minute. It was really bugging me having all that weight I showed earlier in this video just hanging there under the nose. So I've taken it away. I've got to paint that, but it's been taken away. And this is uh, Central Gravity at 40, which I think is perfectly acceptable and spot on. So how did I do that? Well, let me show you. That's all the foam I cut out and I've managed to reduce the weight in the nose by 10 grams. How? Well, I started off inside here. There's like a foam wall in here and I've cut that out so the battery actually can go a few, it's about five millimeters further forward into that battery bay which helps a little bit, but the other thing I've done is the weight is now cut into this isn't stuck in yet I will be sticking these in but the weights are cut into and stuck into the foam surround where the cowl goes. But I still have access to undo the motor if I need to. Yes, it's still got the weight. Yes, it's still heavy. Yes, I still have to keep it flying fast. But it looks a lot better. This needs painting by the way because I really had to get medieval on it in order to take it off. It's all fine, that all just goes in there. But yeah, this will be painted, sprayed up, lacquered again. Job done. And there it is, a completed FMS A6M30 ready for a maiden. So thanks for watching, stay safe, stay well, and I look forward to you joining me on another video. Cheers.